Okay, so welcome to the ultimate beginner guide of how to start your FPV journey. Today, we will be discussing the FPV video system. So basically deciding which goggles you wanted to wear. This is not gonna be a very deep dive into of each system, but just it's just an introduction for what is available on the market in case you wanted to do certain stuff so you may know your options. So consider this as a summary video. Let's jump right into it. All right, so before I begin talking about the video system, I want to make sure you understand how the video system works. If you haven't watched the previous video of explaining what is the requirement components on the FPV drone is, I would suggest you watch the video, but here I'm just going to give you a summary. So to achieve the first person view, there's two things that you're going to need, actually three things. You're going to need a camera. You are going to need a VTX. So basically the camera takes in signal, the VTX process it, and basically sends out from the antenna. And the number three thing is goes to your transmit receiver. Basically, it's your goggle. So this is how we achieve the uh, first person view. If we look at the video transmission system in a simple term, there's only going to be two types of video transmission system. It's either going to be analog or it's either going to be digital. So the main goal here is for you to understand the difference, what it means when choosing the system. So analog, there is certain things you have to consider. Digital, also certain things you need to consider. For the analog system, it's more straightforward and much cheaper compared to the digital system. You can literally get any analog drone, any analog VTX, and it will just pair with any cheap to premium analog goggles, no matter the brand. So basically, to make it a little simpler, it's going to be universal. As for the latency of the analog system, it is a lot shorter compared to the digital system. But as you can see, like the video right here, this is basically what you're going to be getting in the goggles. It will not be so good and not so as clear as you will be getting statics. But if you don't mind about this, this is actually still pretty decent to fly. Now let's switch to the digital system just for a comparison. As you can see the side by side right now, the digital system offer a much better video quality. The trade off of course would be the latency and the higher cost. Generally, digital system is gonna cost a little bit more compared to analog. The digital system is also more complex when deciding which digital system you want as it is mostly brand isolated. So basically, it they will not be universal anymore. So for example, if you if you invest it into a set of DJI FPV system, you will be bound to stay in the ecosystem as it will not connect with other systems. So that's the catch. All right, so done with the analogs, let's look at the three major companies that is in the digital market. I think there are only the three right now. All right, maybe there's gonna be more later, but currently there is only three. Okay, so the first digital video system we will be looking at is going to be DJI. And I would say DJI is still the current dominator of the digital market. Within the digital system, they are still the strongest on penetration and also for the availability. Okay, so besides the OEM kit like the DJI FPV or the Avata, you can fly many third-party pre-built drones that supports the system as you see on the screen. This is also my personal routing of entering the FPV world as I got a DJI FPV combo and basically everything is set up for you and you coincidentally started with the digital FPV system. And it might be easier for you if you wanted to enter the digital system, if you just don't want it to think about it, then just get the DJI FPV or the DJI Avata kit. As of what VTX will be working with the DJI FPV system, basically all you have to know is if you see the keyword, O3 Air Unit, Cadex Vista, Runcan Lynx, or OG Air Unit on the pre-built FPV drone like this one, you can just certain that they are going to be DJI system. However, which DJI goggles these Air Unit will be compatible with will be the tricky part. To make it easier, just check out the image on the screen so you can have a basic idea to know like kind of what works with what. So obviously this is going to be changing a lot because they are just releasing new products like year after year. So probably this is not going to be valid for long, but as for now, this is what you should know. As for the goggles from DJI, so far there is going to be the DJI V1. This is going to be the V2 
and the DJI Goggles 2 and a slightly stripped down version of the Goggle 2 is going to become a Integra. So basically they're the same, just one is a little bit cheaper, one is a little bit more expensive. An additional one that was recently released is the DJI Goggle 3. So far, I don't know a lot of things about the Goggles 3 just yet, but I will assume information should be coming out soon okay so this is tim from the future and as well i was composing this video i just found out that the, the dji goggles 3 will now actually be compatible with the dji 03 air unit system so basically right now you will be able to use the goggles 3 with the 03 air unit and also with the avanta 2 and maybe certain camera drones there is one note that you might want to consider which if you have the dji fpv v1 and v2 goggles you will be able to upgrade it to be compatible to fly analog as well. All you need is going to get a BDI adapter. You just put it on. You're going to need an analog module. And that's it. You, you basically, you can get this to compati be compatible with your analog drones. So if you'd like to see how it was installed and operate, check out the link below. I have a very detailed video below explaining that. All right, so done with DJI in the second digital system is going to be the Waxnail Avatar system. Sorry, I don't have a goggle to show you because I don't personally run Waxnail. So FYI, this is Avatar, not the DJ Avatar. So I don't know why they name it so weirdly. Okay, so just to give you some background of Waxnail. So Waxnail is owned by Cadex FPV. So basically the same company that manufactures the DJI Vista kits. So before they make this for DJI, but now they decided to come out with their own in-house Waxnail avatar system, which is somewhat looks like the DJI Vista. However, it seems like the hobby general feedback to is, is it just does not have the same performance like the DJI system just yet. But we are hoping it will be improving soon because Waxnail is the one that has actually more hobby. I will say they kind of listen to the hobby is a little bit more compared to DJI. DJI is whatever they put on the market, you buy it. If you don't buy it, I don't care. That's what how DJI works. So the Waxnail goggles will only work with the Waxnail VTX kit directly. So basically there are gonna be these. The keywords you need to pay attention to spot a Waxnail system is by pinpoint the word avatar or Waxnail. As for the goggles lineup, they basically have the Waxnail avatar goggle, which is the black one like here, and the fact shark dominator like here. So, what, which one is which one? They're basically the same, just a different manufacturer and a different supporting team. They're basically the same goggles. Okay, so besides of these two, the more advanced and updated version will be the Waxnail Goggle X. So it's like this one. Unlike DJI, the Waxnail does not have a compatibility issue, like everything should be working with the same system because they already do not have enough customer database. If they do that, nobody's going to use them. By the way, if you already have a nice set of analog goggles and you don't want to spend extra money on to get a separate Waxnail goggles, the Waxnail system does come out with a VRX module for you to upgrade your analog goggles. This is the Sky Zone goggles, so you can upgrade it to become Waxnail compatible digital system. All you need is the HDMI plug. So you can see the HDMI plug is right here. You just need an HDMI plug that will support HDMI. And you basically put the, uh, the, the VRX on top and basically plug it in. And now your Waxnail compatible. However, if you wanted to do the backwards by getting the Waxnail goggle to support analog, you can only get the Goggles X. That one has an AV input for you to potentially add an analog module. If you're getting, if you're having the Waxnail, basically the Waxnail previous version goggles, sadly, they will not be compatible with analog. All right, so we're done with the Waxnail system. And now let's look at the HD0 system. This is the number three. So the HD0, HD0 system, I would say it's quite new, but their future seems to be very, very promising to the FPV community. This is the goggle that it actually built for FPV drones, okay? And the HD0 goggles might also just be the most versatile system if you view it in a certain way. And if you wanted to have the most ultimate latency for like shortest latency as possible, the HD0 system is going to be the best option if your purpose is for racing, okay? Or if you wanted to do crazy freestyle, this one is the one you wanted to do. However, the HD0 system seems to have fell short on penetration compared to DJI system as I heard and yeah this thing is super expensive I don't yeah this thing I think the goggle it's 
about 500 bucks but if you can if you wanted to go with the dji system it's a lot more cheaper compared to this one this one is kind of expensive in my opinion same as all the system above we mentioned the hd0 goggles will only work with the hd0 vtx and receivers so obviously you won't be able to work, work use this with the dji or whatever but since there is only one hd0 goggles at the moment all the vtx on the market should be compatible directly the keyword for looking for compatibility HD0 drones are going to be HD0. You wanted to find the keywords HD0 or Shark Bite. Okay, so these are the two keywords that you might want to consider if you are looking for a pre built HD0 compatible drone. All right, so this is the boring part. Now let's talk about the versatility. You do have a lot of options to upgrade your HD0 goggles. Besides the built-in HD0 system, it's a guarantee system that you already have. You can upgrade the HD0 goggles to fly analog by purchasing a HD0 conversion kit. Basically, they sell this kit on their website, and you just hook up an analog module, plug it in right here, and then you are compatible with analog. It's basically it's very simple. Just plug it in like that, and basically you are done. And the second option, you can also plug in a walk snail VRX on the HD0 goggles to fly walk snails if you want to, because it does have HDMI output, actually, HDMI input, actually. This is the one you want. Basically, you can do both if you want, but you just cannot have DJI, as DJI doesn't have a VRX system, which is quite sad, but I get it because they want people to buy their goggles, so they're not going to release a VRX, at least not anytime soon. Okay, so additionally, same as the Waxnail system, if you already have a nice pair of analog goggles, if you wanted to use the HD0 system with your existing analog goggles, you can do it. You have the option to purchase the HD0 VRX to connect to your existing analog goggles as long as you have a HDMI in. So HDMI in is going to be your keyword. Okay, so that's about it for all the video systems. And if you have additional questions or if you are just still confused, feel free to just drop a comment at below. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.